hello and welcome to the final match day vlog of 2023. We're here at St. Mary Stadium to see Southampton FC take on Plymouth Argyle from Devon. We've got that right this time, Devon. Plymouth coming off a 2-2 away draw to Cardiff City and ourselves coming off a rather impressive 5-0 win against Swansea City. I'm not overlooking today's opponents. Um, I think they're going to prove a tough test. They haven't won away all season, uh, but they did give us a bit of a game when we went down to their ground. Uh, I think it's going to be a completely different game because, of course, now that we know our systems and what we should be doing, things should be uh, a bit more fluid. I mean, we are seeing some changes in our lineup. Flynn Downs is currently out with sickness. Someone please employ him a personal chef and a personal doctor. We need to keep that man well. Uh, and Charlie Alcrez is back in the team. Uh, but I think this is quite an attacking side with Shea Adams and Alcrez in the lineup. And of course, with Adam Armstrong still being on fire and plenty of talent on the bench, uh, there's all to play for. Anyway, tonight I'm going to go for a rather conservative 2 0 Southampton win. Uh, we're yet to concede here in the last few fixtures. I think the last time we conceded here was against West Bromwich Albion. So I'm backing us for the clean sheet. I'm going for a 2 0 win. Jack is on his way but thanks to Sky Sports we're here prior to 6pm ridiculous honestly think of the fans right anyway kick off coming up It's half time here at St Mary's Stadium. Currently Southampton nil, Plymouth Argyle nil. What's well, been a little bit of a frustrating first half. I think we're certainly missing Flynn down to midfield. And it appears our back line have uh, taken on the realms to pass the balls forward. But it feels like we've had kind of loads of opportunity, but not been able to do much with it. Yeah, it's been all fart, no poo that first half, to be honest. It's just like, dominating possession. We're looking great on the wings, but just a bit clustered in the middle. I do honestly think Charlie wants to be playing where Shay should play him. And Shay needs to be off the pitch because he can't finish his dinner right now. Uh, it's just... It just, I mean, Shades had the ball in the net, but it was ruled offside. I mean, I have to look about it. I thought it was quite tight. But. It, I mean, it looked quite tight. Maybe we did, you know, it'd be a completely different chat if we were one 0 right now. But we're not. I just, I don't feel like it gives much in the middle when we've got compared to when we've got those guys sort of rotating through the middle, playing different roles. It's just really frustrating this half. Just that there's been no like spark. Do you know what I mean? Just that little something out of nowhere. What, what changes would you make though? 
for the, I mean for the options that are available on the bench there's Stuart Armstrong's there Joe Rebo's there would you bring a Rebo on? Yeah I'd either bring Stu or Rebo on for Charlie or even bring him on for Che and then push Charlie up a little bit higher or even let Adam Armstrong drift into the middle more and let, allow Che to come out uh, Charlie to come out wide there are options there which is nice the bench is nice and strong but I think there might need to be a change at half time Yeah no I think so too I mean it, it just feels like there's uh, a little bit of a, a gap in that midfield that's meaning we just can't break a break down these opportunities on the plus side I don't think Plymouth have offered anything no I mean to be fair I mean I think I think Plymouth you know with respect probably one of the worst sides we've, we've seen here in the first half haven't we really and that's uh, no disrespect to them they just look a little bit leggy uh, but are looking to catch us on the counter attack this goalkeeper though it's taken about 20 minutes for every single goal kick whatever he's got and uh, certainly playing out for a draw maybe I think I think these uh, Plymouth fans would be happy with a draw wouldn't they I mean the, the whistles that they were doing just for the halftime whistle was ridiculous so I think they're, they're, they're begging for a point here and if we give it to them that is really on us I think they're there for the taking and even, they, they all know it and they all know it so just need to do something yeah certainly do need to do something I mean, especially the fixtures coming up West Brom playing Leeds later definitely does give us uh, a bit of an opportunity here to stretch that gap apparently right anyway second half coming up
down to six minutes of added time. It is now Southampton two, Ben Fargal one. Mistake at the back, passing around, Baz getting caught out. And our goal putting in the back of the net. Removing our clean sheet, but it's aside from that, it's looked pretty comfortable. Let's be fair, we've, we've gifted them a goal. We've absolutely gifted them a goal. And that's all they've really had this game. I would honest to God say that Plymouth have probably been the worst team that I've seen here this season. But I will be honest, this last 10 minutes, this last six minutes, they've got a, they've got a fire under them and they could do something here. So the boys just got to remain switched on. This will be a really good final 10 minutes if we can keep it going. I think another goal's in it. I think another goal's in this game. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. I'll tell you the thing again. I'm mean, going to give credit to the Plymouth Fire Goal fans. They have given it plenty of good voice here this evening. Getting behind their side. Take the time, Bass. Take the sweet time. No this run. is where you need a Ryan Birch to throw in. <laughs> Can we get it to 17 unbeaten? It's probably looking lightly, but we really need to keep the ball now. Come on. Oh, the whistle. That's got to be it. Come on, ref. Oh. It shouldn't be this nervous. There it is, it's in it's up to two, Blue Fargo one. It shouldn't have been that uncomfortable at the end. Oh my goodness. It's 2023, draws to a close. The final vlog of the year. Didn't disappoint. We got the excitement. We got the three points. And it's on to 2024. Happy New Year, Saints fans. We'll see you in the next one. All right, see ya.